Good morning, Afton. I'm Wesley Bauckham. I'm Evan Scherer. Today is May 12, 2016. Uh, Wesley? <coughs> Give it back. You know, this really cuts into a Cheryl story about cell phone addiction. I don't care. Give it back. Let's cut to it. According to a report from Common Sense Media, that involved 1,240 interviews with parents and their... 12 to 18 year old children, 50% of them felt addicted to their mobile devices, and 59% of their parents agreed that they do have a problem putting down their phones. About how many hours a day would you use your phone? I'd say about five or six. Okay. Like just using it, maybe like two, I think. Like five easily, if not more, because usually I'm playing during class and stuff like that. So. I use my phone, I'd say, I don't how long am I awake? I'd say I use my phone a good 15 hours a day. Uh, what things do you do on your phone mainly? Um, uh, mainly play games. Yeah. Um, uh, mostly like social media, like Twitter, Instagram, that kind of stuff. Uh, I text, uh, tweet, get on Instagram, Snapchat, you know, get on Huddle once in a while. Um, I go on my Twitter, Facebook a little bit, you know, it's kind of gone down a little bit. I text people, my mom. Um, it's basically all Instagram and Snapchat. Could you go a day or a week without your phone? Um, I could probably go like a day or a couple days. I don't know about a whole week. I think I could maybe, but I'd have to be doing something else. If I was just in school, then no. Uh, could you go a day or a week without your phone? I might be able to go a day, but it wouldn't be my favorite day. No. Day, maybe, week, it'd be pretty tough. And would you say you're addicted to your phone? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm told I'm addicted to my phone. I'm probably not the best judge, but all my friends say I am, so. I don't think I'm addicted. I just I rely on my phone a lot, and it you know, helps pass the time, but I'm not addicted to it. Um, I don't think I really am, because I don't use it like 24-7, but I do use it a lot. Addicted? No, my definition of addict is kind of extreme, but I'd say I like my phone. Wonderful story, Cheryl. Evan, do you think I'm going to have my phone back, please? All right, here you go. Thank you. Have you heard about the new push on the Frozen sequel? Actually, no, I haven't. Well, let's cut to Ruthie's story on it. Since 2013 onwards, one of the biggest entertainment phenomena in the world was Frozen. One of the main characters, Elsa, has been a popular figure in entertainment this past year. And with more recent talks of LGBT ideas, a 17-year-old by the name of Alexis Moncada spawned the idea and the Twitter tag, hashtag, give Elsa a girlfriend. Ms. Moncada stated in an interview with NBC12 that there are more than just one kind of person. To see the same story over and over about a girl and her prince charming, it's repetitive. It makes so many people feel left out. I, of course, have seen the film Frozen. Uh, yes, I have. Yes, once. All right, and have you heard of the hashtag or the campaign that's going around right now, Give Elsa a Girlfriend? I think so. Well, I thought that there was some of that when it first came out, so I remember hearing about it then, but not recently. Uh, recently, I learned of such a thing, yes. No, I have not. Okay, and how would you feel if Elsa had a girl were to have a girlfriend? Um... To paraphrase the great writer James Baldwin, love uh, doesn't come around that often, so you better take it in any and every form that it comes. Uh, I want Elsa to find love. I don't care with you. It would be different from other Disney movies. Usually their uh, significant other is the opposite sex. So, you know, for a main character to have someone that's the same sex, it would give off a big, you know, you know, I don't know, just, I don't know big effect, I guess. I don't know, that maybe people would look at Disney movies different, you know, maybe not as, um, 
childish, but maybe um, maybe adult movies, you know. Next Frozen movie. I think they should. Representation is important, and it's seriously lacking in those films right now, and those films which reach a wide audience. That's all for now. This is Ruth Ann with Cougar News. Sign up. Wonderful story, Ruthie. And now, it's time for the Afton School District Teacher of the Year. Hello, Afton. This year's Teacher of the Year is Miss Eaton from Gotch Intermediate School. I was able to ask Miss Eaton a few questions about her career. Why did you decide to become a teacher? Um, I loved uh, kids, and as when I was a kid, I loved uh, learning. And so then as I got older, I decided that it would be best to combine the two, um, and I could work with kids all the time, and I could continue learning, and then I could experience um, being the person that got to see them going through the learning process. What do you love most about teaching? My favorite part about teaching is uh, forming relationships with my students and getting to hang out with them um, all day, every day. And so I love learning about what makes them special and unique and then, you know, just joking around with them, having fun with them and seeing them learn is my favorite part about it. Where did you attend college? I went to Truman State University in Kirksville. How do you feel about being Teacher of the Year? Um, I'm excited about it. I was pretty surprised and um, honored to be nominated by my colleagues and then to be chosen uh, for Gotch Teacher of the Year and then for District Teacher of the Year. It was definitely a surprise, but um, I'm excited about it and excited to see where it goes from here. Is there any advice you'd love to give to other students, perhaps? Uh, my advice that I would give to students is just to always try their best and um, just doing their best is enough. They don't have to be perfect, but they should always give their best effort and always try their hardest and that's all that I expect of them. Um, it's okay to make mistakes and I want them to take risks, um, but as long as they're trying their best, that's, that's good enough. This is Evan Sheriff of Cougar News, signing out. Great story, Evan. Thanks. Now time for a commercial break. You ready? Let's go! 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% It's so good to create a film. Oh, then have you thought about taking TV production? TV production? What's that? TV production is a class that produces Cougar News, where you can write and edit stories, direct, even do parodies, and much more. For more information, see Ms. Malone in room 46, or visit your counselor. Say, have you heard about the new Afton bond tax levy issue? Actually, no, but I know Jamie covered it. Let's go to Jamie's story on it. Good morning, Afton. As many of you have heard, the Afton School District has been facing some budget troubles recently. With the recent purchases of Chromebooks and other investments within the district, as well as the pullout of tax money from local businesses. Do you think the businesses had a right to pull out? There's something about, there's something about this that is the ethical right. While they may have had the legal right, and they may have even had the ethical right, was it the right thing to do? Without knowing all the details of the case, it's hard to answer, but I will say it probably was not the right thing to do. This past Wednesday, there was a meeting at Rogers Middle School with information on a new tax bond issue. It was a community involvement meeting. Okay, you were at the meeting. Um, do you think that the ta tax increase that they're asking for is going to pass? If they pursue the tax increase as they presented it in the the, at the size of it, I think it'll have a lot of trouble passing due to the fact that we're in an area that is mostly older people. A lot of them do not have students in the schools anymore. And uh, for the amount of increase for retired people on a fixed income, I think it'll be hard to get it to pass with around $30 a month increase with both the bond issue and the tax. I think that uh, 
so, uh, the people had some really good things to say and that uh, there's going to be a positive move forward for, for the Afton community. This is Jamie Cotta from Cougar News signing out. Wonderful story, Jamie. Yep, sure was. Evan, are you going to summer school this year? No, I'm graduating. Well, anyway, I did a story on summer school registration. Cool, let's see it. So, the end of the year is almost here. You know what that means, right? Summer school registration. I talked with some faculty members for some info. Um, could you tell me when registration ends for summer school? Summer school registration is still going on. Um, we'll be registering students throughout the next couple weeks for first semester. After grades are finished and complete, we will continue to register for that second semester of summer school. So that, I think the date will be about June, ooh, maybe like the 10th, June 10th for second session. Um, could you tell me some of the classes that are offered and maybe some of the teachers mm -hmm. teaching it? Yep. We'll be offering English 1, English 2. Um, we'll be offering World History 1 and 2, um, U.S. History, Government, World History 3. We'll be offering PE and Health. I know Coach Bain will be teaching PE. We'll be offering Personal Finance, and I think Mr. Lau is teaching that. Um, We'll also have chemistry, uh, biology, physics, algebra, geometry, and algebra two. Why is summer school important? Well, I think summer school is important for a number of reasons. Um, you know, specifically for freshmen and sophomore who uh, need to make up credits, um, mainly the core credits, English, math, science, uh, all required for graduation and um, it keeps those students on track. Uh, I think it's really important. We know that through research that students who stay on track are more likely to graduate, specifically with the core courses. Those who you know, fall behind in those may not graduate on time and may not graduate at all. So summer school fills that void, and again, it, it kind of supports kids up to uh, you know, kind of keep them going in a positive direction. This is Wesley Balkan with Cougar News, signing out for the last time. Wow, I sure did a good job, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did. Anyway, before we go, we at Cougar News have a final thing to show you. We had a great year here at Afton producing stories for you all. However, this year comes to an end. So, I interviewed every Cougar News member. What will you miss most about this year in Cougar News? Um, I'm going to miss the people I work with and having such a small group and I mean I'm excited for next year. What will you be looking forward to most next year? New people and being a student producer with Ruthie which is going to be probably a train wreck but it'll be a really fun, exciting, entertaining train wreck. What will you miss most about Cougar News? Well I guess I'll just miss you know being able to work in this group. I kind of gotten close to you guys. Is there any last thing you'd like to tell the school? Uh, peace out. Check out my mixtape. It's on SoundCloud. What will you miss most about Cougar News? Miss Malone and having fun, like collaborating with other people and making stories. Do you plan to enroll in any future film classes? No, but it was fun while it lasted. I'm sure other people will enjoy it. Um, I think this year, like what I'm gonna miss most about it is the people in it, because we're such like a close knit group and we've been like working together. It's just I'm gonna miss like the sort of like family bond that we all have. And what I'm looking forward to next year is I guess the new people. What will you miss most about Cougar News? Well, I'm going to miss mostly producing stories and going around with a camera, filming. It was a lot of fun and I'm really gonna miss that when I'm in college. Is there any last thing you would like to tell the school? Well, this one is gonna be mostly to the underclassmen. Like, high school right now probably doesn't feel that great for you. Maybe it's kind of boring or something. But once you get to your senior year, it's gonna be a whole lot better. So don't just try pushing through high school like it's nothing. What will you miss most about Cougar News this year? Um. I will miss seeing all of your sweet faces each day. Um, Evan, you are graduating this year, so I'm going to miss you because every day that you would come in, it is like sheer joy because I never know what it is that you are going to talk to us about or bring up or what politics you might be discussing. Um, 
I'm going to miss Wesley because Wesley always has some band that he's going to talk to us about or some weird tidbit of information that he's going to share and ask our perspective on. He's always um, looking to start conversations about interesting and unique things that we don't know very much about, but we soon do because he'll tell us. Um, you know, each year Cougar News has a different um, feel because it's different kids every year. And even when we do have kids from the previous year come, it's just a different group of kids. And um, one year is never like the next. So there will never be another group of kids like this year's Cougar News. And I'm getting choked up. Oh my gosh. Um, so that's what I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss um, the uniqueness that is you guys. So that's what I'm going to miss. Cougar News will be back next year, but we will miss you. This is Evan Sheriff of Cougar News, signing out. I'm getting welled up already. You know, Evan, Dynasty's set down sometime, and I guess now our time is up. Until next time, you stay, you stay classy, Afton. <laughs> you, do, you always do the crying better than I could. <laughs> I mean, I want to, yeah, you can do it much better than I can. I tried uh, doing that. I Mommy.